How's it, guys? So I'm going to run you through our voltage sensor that's on most of our boats. And you can obviously buy it as an accessory. It will work with i6x, i6 with the revision B receiver. So literally you're going to get that. It's got a positive and negative that goes onto your positive and negative in the boat. And then you're going to plug that into the sensor port on your receiver, like that. Plug it in there. Cool. And that will go onto your battery. And then let me just show you how to set it up and some questions I get asked. So obviously we're going to turn our remote on. And I'm going to turn my boat on so you can you can see the sensor working. <clears throat> so there's mine installed. It's the EXT. And it's reflected there by the RX. Okay. So we need you wouldn't have had any of this here because it needs to be set up. So I'm going to show you where to go. So you're going to hold your OK button there. You can use these to navigate. I'm going to go to your setup menu there, system setup. Say so OK. First thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your sensor. So we're going to go to RX setup. Say so OK. Scroll down to choose sensor. And we're going to choose what we want to reflect on the on the home screen of the remote. So I've got my I've got my TXV1 there, which is the pen lights on the back. The EXT is the sensor. So you can change it there, you see. So we want to choose EXT, which is the external sensor. And we want to use we want to see our signal icon on the home screen. So we'll choose that one. Hold cancel in. Okay. Then we need to set up the battery. So we're going to go RX battery. Normally it'll be on internal. So we're going to make it external. Say OK. And we want to set up parameters, right? <clears throat> so you want to set up the parameters according to the battery that you're monitoring. So in my boat, I've got a four cell battery. So our high point on a four cell battery is 16.8. Our, our low point or our alarm point is 14.8. About 20% left of the battery. That's where you want to pull it out at that point. And then obviously the low point will be a bit lower than the alarm point. Okay. Now keep in mind, if I if you want to then put a three cell or a 12 volt battery in, in the in whatever you're monitoring afterwards, you would need to set up the parameters accordingly. Otherwise, it, it would be screaming that the the battery will be flat the whole time because you're actually monitoring a four cell battery and not a 3 cell or 12 volt battery. So these are my parameters. I'm happy with them. I'm going to hold cancel in. And if I go out now, those are what we've now set up. And there's my battery voltage. My battery is in storage at the moment, so it's not fully charged and therefore it's not showing full over here. Um, yeah, and then that's how you would monitor it. So then obviously when it gets to 14.8, it's going to be on the low point, um, almost flat, and then when you drop below that, it's going to start screaming on the alarm. So, <clears throat> that being said, only be concerned if your battery is screaming at you when the boat is at rest. Okay. When you're between, when you're close to your low point or in that area, you, you you're between worlds. Um, when your boat's running. <laughs> You've obviously got a whole lot of amp drawage, amp draw going on the system, and, it, and there will be a natural voltage drop. It's impossible for, for that battery to maintain above the low limit while it's pulling amps. Okay, So you, your battery, your remote will be screaming at you that this battery is now flat while you're driving or riding the boat or whatever. Um, don't be concerned. Only be concerned if your boat's at rest and it's screaming. If it's screaming at that point, yeah, then it's time to pull the battery. If you like and like mine now, you can see it's not totally empty. I could probably squeeze another run out before I'm at my 14.8 limit, uh, where I would need to charge that battery. Okay, so yeah, that's some questions that get asked, and that's how to set up the sensor.